morning. I think it's Wednesday. I think I got everything. Person is, are you going? Are you staying? I don't know what you're doing. Last night, I ended up not editing one single vlog. Why? I opened my laptop and it gave me no space error. No space, no space, no space. I don't know what it got filled with because I delete all my video files. I delete it in iMovie and Final Cut and then I go and delete it again with the Omni Sweeper to delete it, to actually delete it from the computer. I think I have viruses or files, cookies, things that add up, little things that add up to a lot. And those are really hard to detect. Try to finish with the little space I cleared up. I have nothing on this computer now, nothing. Yet it shows me so much space is used. I have a lot of videos that I did. I did 11 videos just Saturday and Sunday. So I'm trying to finish them so I can upload them. So bad guy, which I'm going to, I'm about to sing. I don't know. I hope I said that sort of right. It's so hard with the tonal language and stuff. What else? Is there anything else? But as I was watching my K-drama while things were moving, I thought, you know what? This is fine. Just accept this this is what you needed or oh, you got it anyways so just accept it and embrace it and like it and there's no need for the stress the stress only makes everything worse and makes you slower so today i got my laptop with me at work i'm gonna try and work out the little details i don't really have to do it while i i mean i'm not going to be able to do it while i'm working even though that would be awesome and great but maybe in like my lunch half hour sort of even though technically i don't want to take one and then during after work sort of when i'm still at work during those times but we'll see how it works we'll see i'll try to schedule it but i'm not going to be obsessive over scheduling so i have this my friend says it's ocd because he has it where i make lists and i make another list and another list and another list thinking that this list is going to somehow fix the problem which the problem is i don't have the stuff done by making more lists i'm still not working towards getting my stuff done i'm gonna try not making any lists today no lists hard i also have a list of names for all my curve well my, all my future edits so i can do thumbnails but i need actual pictures i'm going to go back to the actual pictures i think i really like that but it's it's difficult i don't know i mean i i like the color ones but i'm running out of color schemes it got to be like really ugly color schemes oh my gosh okay hello day three technically traveling have changed everything's changed so annoying fun name i don't know this part all man yuren yong yi di lei hui hong yan huo shui ah that's hard yuren yong yi di lei hui hong yan huo shui yuren yong yi di lei hui hong yan huo shui yuren jiu da
My voice today is crappy. I don't know if starting to hurt again. I figured out I think it's a lack of vitamin D. So if you have vitamin D, if you have pains, try vitamin D first. Try that one more time. Okay. okay, that's going to be that for today. Day three of Chouba Kwai. Something like that. One time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you know that feeling when you're tired and everything is not working out? You're not able to speak or pronounce things well and you get so frustrated. That frustrated feeling, I have that. And it, I hate it and it's annoying and obviously it's annoying. All right, have a good day. I wanna eat this today. I wanna eat this now, but I have to wait until tomorrow or until later. And uh, okay. Have a good day. I feel like eating so much now. Pain, pain, pain. Pain, 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 pain. Over. I had this weird pain like over here. It's like this overall from like top, not top of my head, more like the top of my neck, but also like my jaw stuff. And then down mostly my torso, maybe some of my arms and stuff, down to my mishlok the middle of my back i'm pretty sure it'll go away in a few days of taking vitamin d so nice and thankful so that should be an easy fix we'll see i'm gonna try also i realized hey my 48 hour film project partner person if he can build a light stand i don't have to purchase a light stand for the ring light he asked me if it should move a certain way but i don't know if it has to like the head of the light itself moves i don't think the pole has to move at all okay so yeah let me see what they want Okay, bye. I don't know after I press record how much is it instant that it recalled? 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 I have something nuclear, something blood, something showed something, <laughs> and which basically means that means that I probably have an autoimmune disease. Okay, signal. Thank you for signaling. So he wants to do further tests. So I'm going back next week. Oh my gosh, so many doctors. So much money that I don't have. Ugh, whatever. I don't know why I'm shouting and being all aggressive. A few years ago, I remember any sort of news like this was like the end of the world. What did I get once? Well, I think the last one I remember was when I had to do my endoscopy or something. Was it then? It was something like so terrible. It wasn't, you know, in the end, but at the moment I just took it like it was the worst news. Like someone told me I was dying, which I mean, technically we're dying every day, all the time since we're born, sort of, right? At one point we switched from like growing and stuff to like dying. <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I've reached that point, right? I think it's like 24 or something. You fully develop and then you start underdeveloping. I don't know. Something like this too would have 
have been like probably pass it to my mom like can you please call because I don't want to know or I would just get this dread inside and this feeling of sadness and now even like a few days ago when I was thinking about it myself like oh I probably have it's scary and thinking of those specifics it's scary but this is like a general and so it didn't affect me as much or maybe I've just kind of grown more immune to it like I know I have something so I have it and that's that. Overall, I've noticed a huge change in how my wiring works, so I think that's good. Oh, I wish I could let you, but it's kind of far away. Never liked milk. When I was little, I used to put so much chocolate in my milk. I hated milk. I hated the taste of milk. When we came to the US, the taste of milk was even worse. It's this like chemical taste. It's disgusting. Milk in the US is disgusting. The organic one is not as bad, but it's still a little bit. Something in it, either the containers or something is bad wow it's not a bus it's a trailer thing so i got soup broccoli cheese with a little bit of chicken noodle so gluten and dairy yay party in my system and then i have salad <laughs> and then at work i forgot i had ribs but i don't feel like ribs today oh and i have my indian thing but that I, it's frozen so i can eat that tomorrow i hope my vitamin d thing helps i'm excited i'm gonna call in my friend my partner i'm so used to calling everyone friend or person and then I feel bad entity that I talk to like I seriously I have an issue I have such a bad issue oh my gosh it's not that hard why is it so hard for me to call people people I don't get it I don't get it but yeah I'm excited because he was like yeah I'll do the light stand if he could also do my travel plans I actually have this is this is so badly me but I'm embracing it because it's real like the stress and anxiety I have doing my vacation travel plans intense I obsess over the plans and I go over and over because nothing's perfect. It was at the beginning. I'm like, great. We go to LA on the 9th and then we get there at 9.30 a.m., which is perfect. Like, I see my friend and the baby that I really want to see for like a little bit. Then we pass the key and stuff and then we do our thing. We rent a car, blah, 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 blah. We travel to Las Vegas that weekend and then I realize, oh, well, yeah, I have to let her know exactly what days I'll be out because she could rent it to someone else we're going to go to san francisco and seattle and all of a sudden they're not enough days and all of a sudden the prices the prices obviously have changed a little bit but the timing the one flight was is not there anymore and united charges for bag yay so might as well pay for spirit which charges the same amount but also the ticket is less I don't know what to do so I told her I'm like I'm freaking out I am honestly like it, I get just very obsessive my counselor person she was asking me if I was I was prone to addiction for going through the ADD checklist I'm like yeah and then we talked about she's like really <laughs> and I'm like well like I obsess over things and I'm like oh wait that's different kind of similar it feels sort of similar but obsession is more short-term I think with the way I look at it and concentrated whereas addiction is like you can't stop doing something and I am like the opposite of that the opposite of that and it's why we're doing the checklist like I change so much so often so I'm not a, an addictive personality but I am an obsessive personality so I have so much stress and I was like my gosh can this guy just take over my whole life because he seems to have it so down but yeah I really need a job where I can have a personal assistant it sounds so bad and sounds like arena why just do your thing like struggle and struggle like the rest of us and it's so frivolous and blah blah but I'm telling you it's not frivolous this is like my sanity and health that's at stake without one. I really need to find a way to, to enter that world where I can have a personal assistant. And this can be like, if you're rich, it doesn't matter how, what you do, like you can have hire someone, but I also want someone that I trust fully, which is difficult. For me, it would be difficult. Cause I just feel like there's part of me that have see, has seen it. And I feel like many people don't really want to do their best. And they have sort some sort of resentment and I don't want that. So my head hurts like, oh, over here it's like so achy 99% sure with the vitamin D it'll get fixed peace loving and passion yan yan kike se yan yan kike se o tsai jen ba bai pe kurin pa au vider zain hasta luego matane jane yeah I should have like a different 
transition, but I don't know what to do. I've sort of been editing at work, and by editing, I mean I'm trying to listen. I edited May 16th because it was just a very tiny portion of it that I wasn't edited. I mean, I definitely split it. It's 50 minutes right now. And then I am going to listen and jot down, like, oh, link to this, link to this, caption this, as I go through all the things that I recorded because I can't edit and do work at the same time, which is what I need to do. Okay, bye. Oh, we're so close. I am uh, just sitting here for a little bit, not in a hurry because there's traffic, a lot of traffic. I have a list and I have my chobakwai. Stayed a little extra over at work. I mean, it was supposed to be just as, oh, I didn't do the, why is this person like, why can't they go on the parking lot? If I criticize and if I comment, it'll take too long to explain because I'm really bad at explaining and visually talking about things, so I'm just, there's no point in saying that. So, I'm so tired. Today went by so slow until about 3 and at 3, at like 4.30, it picked up. I feel like I have a fever. Okay, no, I ate half a bag of Milano cookies. One little thing of orange and one thing of mint. I also found ice cream in our freezer from when we had our birthday. Oh, yay! Awesomeness. So I had some ice cream as well. I don't want to talk about pains and all that stuff. No. For me, of golf. Golf. I don't know where that's coming from. Anyway, so I edited, I didn't edit, I edited, uh, edited May 16th because I had, I mentioned this already, I had like two minutes, I think, to edit. And then I proceeded to not do anything but watch YouTube for a little bit. And then I was listening to a couple, I, I think I did five vlogs that I have saved and ready to publish, but I needed to jot down links or captions, blah, blah. Blah, blah. The list for today is edit May 15th, but what am I talking May? E edit April 15th, which is Easter. I want to show you guys Romanian style Easter. This is how we do it sort of. I mean, this is the quasi traditional honestly because technically you're supposed to stay there until the next morning, but we ne never did and I used to say, oh, I one day I don't think I ever will. Plus I have this like immune disease, which I'm pretty sure is why I'm so tired all the time. Darn it, I have to edit that so I can publish that. That's the missing one. I had deleted, I had edited and deleted May, April 15th, uh, vlog number 171. And then I was like, oh, okay, well it's gone. It's not gone, I just have to re-edit it. So I need to do that. My arm is already hurting. Maybe it's how I hold you. Probably how I'm holding you. But I need to put intros and outros to a lot of videos over 11 videos because just 11 I had this weekend this weekend I just had 11 I have to put captions and music basically do the final touches to my vlogs that I have because I was thinking Arena you're so stressed out trying to edit everything until like today and you have all these dates that can't even publish because you don't even have intros and outros and blah 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 so why are you stressing out about the wrong thing you should stress out about that and focus on that and that's manageable because it doesn't take quite as long time. I have to upload and I also have to work on the thumbnails and then that's it for today and I am pretty confident I can accomplish all of that. I have, it's 5.30 I have about, let's say three hours. I mean, you never know. I mean, yesterday I got home and then my computer was like ah. Another thing I did, I deleted everything. I switched, I put the iMovie library on one of the hard disks. I'm a bit scared to me to say this but by the time this comes out I think 48 hour film project will have already happened but I just feel so grateful to have this guy, friend, person we're not really friends yet Hope I don't know if we'll be friends I don't know what friend oh, the definition of friendship is very great to me now a days but this person, this partner in 48 hour film project I am so grateful that he agreed and I mean at first it was so awkward and I was like oh my gosh this guy doesn't want to do this he's like giving me the run around or whatever you call it that's probably not how you call it but you know whatever I am so grateful I am so grateful he just by doing the simplest things that he has done so far he has 
given me confidence, relaxed my anxious mind or anxious part of myself. It's not really the mind. Is it the mind? I don't know. <laughs> Relax my anxiety just from that. I also have another anxiety about the vacation, travel plans, but that's another thing. Like, he asks me all these questions, specific questions, and at first I'm like, why is he like, chill out? Why are you asking me so many questions? And then I realized so that's how I used to be. That's how I used to approach this and how everything used to be. But then I got so complacent because everyone fell through all the time and I just got kind of discouraged, you know? So I'm feeling back the excitement of working in a team and, you know, actually working and relying on someone. Oh my gosh, I cannot explain to you how amazing it feels when you can rely on someone. Hands down, the best thing. The best thing. I felt more inspired for self-belief. How did I say this? Listening to my edited vlogs felt good to inspire self-belief. I was listening to it and I'm like, you know what, this is like cool. I like these. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry, but I actually like these. I don't know if I would listen to them or not. They're kind of all over the place. And when I have seen vloggers like that, they just like hire me so much and I can't handle it. But I'm actually like, I like it. I'm very proud of it. And I would hope Totally, what do you call it? Promote it. So I think by listening to the edited versions of the vlogs, even though it's like an extra step, but it might be good just to, for a while until I can like reconnect with it and actually see myself not through all the two hours that I just edited, but actually the finished project, which I'm proud of and I'm happy to promote and I want to promote. So I wanted to say about vlog 173 and also mentioned it at the time, I'm probably exaggerating, but the fear took over and I let it take over. And I also just really, I was lying to myself because I was so stressed with the taxes and time Tired, and I was just lying to myself, <laughs> but it was partially also the fear and I knew that it was wrong to take the path of fear so I took it but what I wanted to say in relation to that was just how like it annoyed me the news the media makes it bigger this particular instance is so clear especially having the opportunity to look back because I'm looking back at what I was saying and how I was feeling and what everyone was saying like it was made I, I even remember I told people at work and all I don't think this guy randomly is shooting people that's what it was made out to be but it was made out to be that way and I felt like it was just so wrong and so weird why I didn't understand why probably some news channel or something made it thought how can we make this more exciting and terrifying and you know get viewership and all this stuff and we'll have to make it bigger than it is more scary so people can watch have to watch all this stuff that's what bothers me with media and they caught him I remember feeling so sad for him just I mean does it ring a bell to what I was talking a little while ago about the cop that killed the driver feeling this sadness for this guy everyone was like oh I'm glad he died I'm glad he killed himself you should never be glad to... I didn't talk about this did I this YouTube video and sensational news at VidCon this year 2017 because who knows when this will come out about this Instagram guy who sort of reminded me of my one of my exes but he like was saying stuff like this like you're so ugly you should kill yourself and I'm glad that a lot of the YouTubers are like, whoa, this is like the scum, most scumbag scumbags of all time. This is like the basest, lowest human walking around. Like, that's not really nice either, but seriously, I was shocked that those words were coming out of his mouth. I, I I wasn't shocked that they were coming out of his mouth because people say things just to get, you know, he probably wanted a sensational news, which he got. He was just so out of it. You get to that point where it's not necessarily you're a bad person. You're just so focused or on things that, that uh, matter but don't matter. You're so focused on getting more views, getting more views, getting more views, any more views, any more views, any more views, more money, more money, more money. And you literally cannot see what you're doing and what you're saying. I mean, it's like just this shift of consciousness shifting <laughs> inside because I don't hate these people. I don't see them as evil and they should do things that no one should do things like die or kill themselves. Like that is just so wrong to say. And so the same thing with this guy who murdered I just bothered me it hurt me so much it angered me so much to have people in my at my work say that like I'm glad he's dead I'm glad he he that's what he deserved or what, what's what do people say like, not he got what he deserved but he he got it back his senses and he did what was right to kill himself what world are you in are you listening to yourself 
Wait, go. Sorry, a smart car caught my eye. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is just so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. How dare you say that? You should not uh, ever say that to any human being, no matter what, not even Hitler. You should never say that. I understand where you're coming from, but you should never say that. It is so wrong. Like, you're absolutely no better than someone who does kill people in that case. Or anyways, um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was this guy. So I was editing my vlog from the party, acting class party, and I remember talking to this guy where he was talking about how he has YouTube and he's doing like little movies and putting them on there and the blah 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 oh we're all oh I remember him talking to other people about YouTube and I remember I mentioned in my awkward way like oh I do YouTube too and blah blah, blah. I saw myself today I heard myself talk about how it feels so awkward and uncomfortable to talk uh, to people about myself and blah 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 why am I going this way? Hold on. I noticed, talk about like I don't notice things. I totally noticed that he just like, he heard me and he just kind of shut down and he just like kind of turned away even though he didn't but he sort of did. And I thought, I just felt un uncomfortable. I thought, well, you know, like, yeah, it's me and I suck and blah, blah, blah. But it, it was actually him. Now I know it was him having a problem with me and I don't know why because we didn't even meet really. That was just so like sad for me and it's still sad. I, Cause I still think of what's wrong with me? Why do you not like me that much? Like why do you dislike me? Not not like me, but why do you dislike me? It still hurts. But I also realized that it's not my problem. I didn't, I, um, I don't know. Like when you don't know what you did wrong cause you didn't do anything wrong, you know, that says something. Why are we stopping? So there's that, I, that's all I want to talk about. I think I totally brought that feeling and that conversation or lack of conversation into this guy who was helping me out with 48 hour film project was, I don't know how to say it, whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, I think I'll go some more. Have a wonderful day, I shall talk to you after I figure out what is going on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought that was like a basketball by itself without the kid. Oh my gosh, I'm talking about such crazy things today. I used to pass by this one. Gosh, I know I had like a weird name or maybe it didn't. Maybe it was just my, I think it was that one. But I used to pass on his uh, street. I used to pass his house. However, fun fact and story, <laughs> I used to never look. Just have to wait for that red line. Now I have a nice little something in my eyes. Oh gosh, ah, oh, I'm a mess. So tense. Yeah, that was that was Chobakwai. Mm, however you pronounce that, someone tell me, please, like in regular, normal speech. Have a wonderful day, I'm home, bye.